Hello everyone, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iadore, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. In the previous part we finally managed to get through the middle of the shard and um, uh, we conquered I think like phase 2 uh, Doregos' provinces. But um, uh, because uh, my planning wasn't um, that good I forgot to... Uh, to save the gold that we're gonna need for guards around uh, uh, Doricos' capital. So now we somehow have to get the gold while we are fighting the AI, and that could be a problem. But I've been thinking about it, and um, there are some locations in. Uh, all the provinces that we can see around us. So what I'm gonna try is just to slowly conquer his provinces, try to get, go uh, in the direction where his capital is, it should be right here, and just get the money along the way. I want to start uh, with the demon army that we have here. It's a third train, and I've been talking about it in the previous part, part already. Uh, if I didn't have to attack them, I'd probably avoid it, because um, we are gonna encounter demons there, most likely. I mean demons as the tier 3, de uh, the, as the tier three unit. And um, they can be dangerous, they are very fast, and if there is more than one, we could run in trouble. Uh, but um, from a fight like that, uh, we should get quite a lot of money. So I probably have to do it. And then we'll see what uh, what um, else we can get on the way uh, to the capital. Meanwhile, we can just um, keep exploring with the scout. I have a feeling that um, I will need um, all the locations that I can get in these provinces. Because um, um, I checked how far Doricos managed to get, and he's in like the fifth train on both sides. That means um, his main hero is my, most likely quite strong, uh, and um, he may need a lot of money to uh, to surround him in his capital. We may have to hire some guards multiple times as he's gonna break through. I don't think that um, we'll have guards that uh, just make it impossible to, for him to break through. So this may take some time and the longer this takes the more money it needs. We'll see about this. I don't have a good feeling about uh, about this fight. Like I think we can, we can kill him in the end of course but uh, uh, this could be quite quite an annoying AI to to surrender. But we'll see. Uh, let's just start playing. Enough talking. Anything interesting here? Not really. And until we have guards everywhere around this capital, I'm not gonna build anything, buy anything. First, we really have to get rid of him. Make sure that he's not very, uh, running around with his heroes. Then we can think about uh, something else. Okay, 10 units, Ice Demon. Well, when there is Ice Demon, there usually is a normal demon as well. He just is not listed, it's a bug. But I'm quite sure there will be a normal demon as well. The 10 is not that bad. Yeah, sure enough. much damage can he do? 1 to 1. Thinking if I should move the assassin. I'd probably leave him where he is. I don't want them to focus their attacks on just one unit. If uh, the normal demon attacks the assassin and the ice demon attacks the tag, that should be fine. We can easily heal the assassin. But we actually could have uh, more trouble healing the tag if both focus on him, even though we have the strongest healer behind him, but it's just one heal. Let's go like this. 
okay. They sh he still should attack the assassin. It hurt. Uh, that's why I checked his damage. These guys can really, uh, really do a lot of damage. Okay, you're attacking first, and of course we can't use the damn crushing blow. Oh man. I need to kill one. Okay. I moved the hero forward. One, two, three. No. Now the, the imp can't get to my healer. And um Oh, should have checked the resistance. Three. Let me just use vamp. I think now we are fine. I'm not saying that we are not taking any more damage. It's still gonna hurt. But the real danger is gone. Oh, and now they even managed to block the bond for the fiend. Good. Now the magic damage shouldn't be that bad, especially when they are targeting healers. Okay, kill these two, heal up, I'll probably wait for the fiend to come to me. And just make sure the demon is wrapped, that's all we have to do. Come on, heal up. Not enough, really. We, have, we need three attacks. Okay. Now. And we need more medals. Damage really is not enough for fights like this. Um. Okay. Kill the first fiend. Hmm. I think I want to... Oh, I can't move? Why can't I move? Oh, whatever. I'll just kill something. I thought I'll be able to uh, retreat on this tile, but... It's fine this way. And this is what I wanted to attack that hit from the Hellhound. Kill him. And where's Astral Energy? Here. Kill the last unit as well. So that wasn't that bad, but um, uh, as I said, demons can be very dangerous in the first round. Um, you have to be careful. I hope it was worth it. Precise strike for the assassin, sure. Don't want order of the defender here. Hmm. More damage. Range defense. The reward is decent, I would say. We can sell both these items. That means you get like 450. Plus the 100 that we already got. So, over 500 from this fight. That actually pays for the building that we need. Keep exploring. And we just lost the province. Hmm. I mean, it's not that bad. I will have to take it back at some point. But... Um, 
now this could be used as um, like an extra guard for us. Um, if this province was uh, unguarded as it was before the, in the Inquisition took it, uh, the AI would have to go like one turn, second turn, and then it would have no problems getting anywhere. Now it has to still fight in this province, so it's like one extra turn, it gets delayed if it wanted to get to us. lost the income that hurts it hurts a lot I just I just realized you lost 15 gold per turn but well I definitely don't want to go back there for the province I'll just uh, I'll just keep going now we just have the iron in, the, in this province okay hmm I want both these provinces, so let's go one, two, and then we see what, what else, lizards, wardens, and both these provinces have some locations. Okay, mercenaries guild, so now we can started hiring guards how much do we need how much do they cost let's say 300 the price um, will go up slowly so with 300 we're gonna need five of them oh we still need a lot we are making 60 gold per turn let's say 10 turns before we have all the provinces it's like 600 um and some money from fights we may have enough I hope it's gonna work like this we we'll really end up with like 50 gold once we are done with all of this but uh, we should be able to surround the AI okay Next. And I'm gonna do this manually because from every fight we get a bit of gold. We should start killing the crossbow man and let's even use astral energy to kill another one. I think this guy could get a medal. Okay. 80 gold, that's not bad. Uh, level ups, triple stamina, definitely. Medal for agility, nope. That's not the medal I meant. Okay, keep exploring. Still no heroes around. It's actually not bad. It's um, this uh, gives me more time to fight, uh, you know, to attack uh, locations. And that it's not the best target, but I take it. Still, at least something. <coughs> Two turns for extravaganza. Okay, go go. And there is a hero. Come on.
don't have to do this, but um, I'm gonna web the ghoul anyway. Did I mention that we need more medals and more crushing blows? Uh, it's pretty annoying. You can see that we are close to to the threshold where we start one-shotting unit, or you know, always when we attack something that uh, we finish it off without using uh, without using astral energy for the extra attack. But being close is not enough, especially against uh, against armies like undead. See, again, three hit points. Just one medal and uh, the zombie would be dead. Okay, that's like 140, that's not bad. And Spider's Egg... Hmm... I don't think we need it at this point. How many slots do we have... Uh, in the army. Two more, uh, one more that we have to open and one is available. Oh. The spider it wouldn't be bad for this army, but um, I think I'd rather take another talk probably. Oh, we'll see. Maybe if we get some good hard fights where we need some extra crowd control, you know, later on when I started farming the money for the second commander, maybe I'll take him just uh, to spam vabs. And keep going. I hope he stays here and doesn't run away. No, I can't afford it to hire a guard in this project. I'd really like to just can't afford it. Oh, perfect. He stayed there. <laughs> Here we should get uh, some money. Come on. more turns, one more turn, probably just one. Yeah, let's see. Is the wizard the main hero or not? It would be nice to get rid of the main hero this fast. Nope, that's not. It looks like just some exploration bond. Oh, just level 6, definitely not the main hero. Heal up. And we send a few units forward. Ow. Where do we use the astral energy? Here, probably I want to get uh, to the hero as fast as possible. Is it enough with the crushing blow? Yep, good. Okay, so one hero is dead. Here I'll take extra damage. And 
be exploring. Any other heroes around? Not yet. Uh, patrolman, local militia, wardens. Nothing really hard to kill. Uh, attack barbarians. We have 1300. That means we need like 200 more. We should get that from uh, from this location. So maybe I'm gonna ignore spiders and start uh, conquering these provinces. Because here is the capital. Just not sure if I should start it here and block uh, these two first so he can't get to this part of the map. Or if I should just start, you know, from this side and j then go down just one, two, three, four, five. It's probably better to block these two first. Or I may as well go this way and then return. Ah, no, 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 no. Before I end the turn, let's check. Oh, where do we want to use the extravaganza? Let's prevent the rebellion here, or at least slow it down. Okay, and uh, yeah, there is a hero, so we are going down next turn. I thought that sh someone could show up. So, there's no point in planning, just. Um, react to whatever the AI is gonna do. Okay, let's wait for them. I wanted to move this guy forward, but it's probably better to move him down. So, we are ready for it, the tug. Here we can get a kill, and you know what? Let's use Astral Energy and get rid of the Shaman. finish of the last barbarian good 31 gold oh perfect finally on level 16 that took a long time oh, two hit points but we have the second crushing blow amazing um, a pretty decent reward overall keep exploring what's this uh, more money Yep, I definitely want 100. So we are, we have 1700, and that's more than we need for all those guards. I just hope that uh, by some miracle, uh, mercenaries will be enough to stop the AI, so we don't have to chase heroes around. Okay, end the turn, and I hope he stays where he is. Perfect. Um, I think I still have to do these uh, guard fights manually. Still can't afford it, just ignore the experience. Clear the map a little bit, and can 
we reach Bowman? We can't. Uh, whatever, let's move this guy. Okay, kill. Now heal the healer, and I th think I should um, heal at least some tugs. You can run back as well. Just the next uh, fight is most likely the main hero. I want to come prepared for that. Mm -hmm. energy here. And kill Bowman 74 and the level up so now we have all the all the slots in the army open be nice to get the um, nice tier 3 or tier 4 unit I don't think that um, we can get it anywhere I definitely can't build a building that uh, would give us tier 3 unit uh, could try to attack troll layers, layers somewhere, but again, uh, for a fight like that, I need more crushing blows. So we are back where we started. Just once we get those crushing blows, we can do anything. But for now, the damage it just is not there. Uh, what about the ability? I think extra stamina, extra initiative. Yeah, let's take the maneuver, maneuvering. And here is the commander, but it doesn't look like main hero to me. No, definitely not. It's just a f just a newly created hero. So the main hero is still somewhere out there. Like the wizard definitely wasn't main. So it's either warrior or a scout. Which makes sense, those... Uh, Heroes are usually easy to level up, and the AI can handle them. Let's try to kill the commander. Okay, um, hmm. I don't really care about the morale. We shouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, but this is like the worst level of tug can get. I guess one stamina. Here it's better because we need morale for healers. Exploring. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. How much is that? 200. Oh. At least I managed to get uh, some money from the winemaker. Excellent. I still have enough. So let's hire the first guard and I think I move up and block this passage. He already resurrected the wizard.
and he moved uh, into the province that we just entered. Good, so we can kill him again. This guy, uh, this one, one orc. Let's try it. We have the crushing blow. Is it enough to kill an orc that's standing in the swamp? It is. Good. Uh, I don't want web, I want astral energy. And try it again. Yep, this is what I was talking about. How easy it is when you have uh, proper abilities. This guy has to go back and get some heals. Oh, come on. Really? Another one? Okay. And the wizard again. up he has some aoe spells so let's prepare for that and you can move forward you can move forward and you can move forward let's go with three three talks we get no we can't get to the bowman but at least we can uh, kill one more unit and now we should be able to finish the fight good uh, extra healing extra damage The level up for our scout is gonna be pathfinding, but I still don't see uh, any other heroes. And how long are we conquering for, or for how long are we conquering uh, Doricos' provinces? One, two, three, four, five, like six provinces. Is it possible that he just doesn't have a better hero? Like he's not that far. I'd say that after six or seven turns, and we are also uh, attacking locations, so it's like seven turns maybe. I'd say that uh, in seven turns he would move his main hero to protect the capital. Hmm. By the way, what's the guard in his capital? Adventures. Good, that's not a problem. tell me that he just somehow managed to get to the fifth ring on both sides I don't know like, it would be possible if he got very lucky and all these were free settlements 
I don't want to believe that uh, we have seen all his heroes. There is one more somewhere. It has to be. But, well, let's see about that in the next part. Uh, this one is uh, long enough. Uh, we made an important first step. Uh, we prevented him basically from going uh, to the west, so we don't have to worry about this side, unless we somehow miss the hero uh, who is in probably these two provinces only. I don't think so. He'd most likely come down. Uh, he'd definitely come down and try to, uh, to take this province. It's unguarded. So I think the hero has to be somewhere around here. Right? It's, it's, it's definitely weird. I'd expect him to move all his heroes to protect this capital. But as I said, we'll see about that um, in the next part. We'll continue conquering his provinces once um, we have him closed in his capital. We're gonna quickly capture the remaining provinces to uh, destroy his economy. And once we are done with that, we can start working on the second commander. I'd say like two pirates on camera until we conquer all, the, all his provinces. And um, I'll do the grinding for the second commander off camera and come back when um, we are ready to proceed to the next shard. But uh, yeah, that's going to be at least two pirates. So mm, the next pirate is going to be on camera. I hope you join me for that. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.